How's it going everyone? Excuse me being a bit sweaty and out of breath. I've just finished a hour long string session on CloudFit, which Brendan and Alex took. Um, if you haven't heard of CloudFit, it is a really awesome virtual gym space based in South Africa, where for just two nine nine a month, you can get unlimited access to yoga with me, plus a whole bunch of other strength, cardio, spin, um, shape classes, step classes, all sorts of stuff. So just go check it out. I will throw the link down below. But what I'm gonna to do today is I'm just gonna take you through a 10 minute full body stretch and cool down that you can do after any exercise session that you've done. So all you're gonna need is a mat, make sure you have a sweat towel with you just to help with the stretching as we go into the hamstrings. But we're literally gonna go from bottom to top, working our way through releasing tension and giving you a good stretch out after an exercise session. Awesome, so you're going to start on your mat, start in a kneeling position in the middle of the mat. What you're going to do, you're just going to step forwards with the right foot, coming into this nice low lunge shape. You can tuck your back toes if it's more comfortable, hands resting on the hips, just using your breath to breathe into the left hip flexor here. With every inhale, visualizing your breath going into the tightness. Every exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Okay, then from here, you're going to lean forwards, place both hands either side of the front foot. Slowly straighten up that front leg with the toes go up towards the ceiling, getting a stretch down the back of the right leg and into the calf as well. If you're really tight, you can come up nice and high, bring your hands to your hips, or wherever you are, using the breath. Good, and then coming forwards to that low lunge again, pushing back to a kneeling position. Stepping forwards, left foot, low lunge, making sure the knee's stacked over the ankle, using the breath. So you inhale, breathing into that right hip flexor now. So you exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Using the breath. Okay, one more. Then folding forward, place your hands either side of that left foot. Slowly straightening it up, toes go towards the ceiling. You can bring your hands back or bring hands to hips, thigh or shin, whatever works for you. Breathing into the stretch down the back of the left leg now. One more breath here. Good, then coming back forwards to this low lunge, hands to hips, stepping back. From here, turning side on, step that right foot out, turning the foot down on the ground, and you're just gonna fold forward, sending those hips back, coming down onto your forearms if you can, so just working into the groin now. Using your breath if you need, you can be up on your hands like this. You can maybe do a bit of rocking back and forth. Feeling it out nice and slow. Good, and bringing that knee back through center. Step the left leg up, toes pointing forwards. Good, nice deep breath in. As you exhale, you can come down to the forearms or stay up on your hands, getting that nice groin stretch again. Using the breath. You can come up onto your hands and maybe rock back and forth a couple of times. Just noticing how the sensation of the stretch changes. Good, and then coming back through center. From here, you're just gonna to come to lie on the back. Make sure you have enough space behind you to roll back. As you come to lie, knees and chest, you can gently rock from side to side. Getting a nice little lower back massage. And then plant the soles on the feet as wide as the mat. And you're just going to windscreen wipe your legs from side to side, getting a nice release in the back. Feeling a nice twist, slowly mobilizing the spine, releasing any tension in the hips. Good. Then come through center, plant the soles of the feet on the mat, hip distance apart, and line with your sit bones. You're going to lift up that right leg, taking a hold behind the hamstring or the calf, or if you have a sweat towel, you can loop the sweat towel over that foot and use that to help you stretch. Again, yeah, you want to keep that foot nice and flexed. If you are super tight, you can have a micro bend in that knee, just using the breath. Feeling into the body, slowing down the heart rate. Good, hug that knee into the chest, no knee. 
and then relax head back to the mat, foot to the mat. Lift up the left leg, taking a hold behind the hamstring, calf, sweat towel on the shoe, using that to help pull that leg in a little bit closer, using the breath, feeling into the body. One more. And bend that knee, squeeze it into the chest, nose to knee. And then relax, head back to the mat. From here, extend both legs straight down. Hug the right knee into the chest. And just holding here, squeezing that leg nice and tight. Opening up the hips, using the breath. And on your next exhale, bring that leg up to the side and up, opening up the hip. Good, and then across the body we go for a low back twist. Right arm extends dirty, keeping both shoulder blades tucked on the mat. Gaze is over towards the right hand, using your breath as you inhale, breathing into the lower back and glute. As you exhale, gently push down on that knee, deepen the twist. One more breath. And then back through centre, knee to nose, and relax it down. Other side, left knee into the chest, knee to nose. Relax the head back. Squeezing that leg up into the chest, feeling an opening in the hips. And on your next exhale, leg goes up to the side, and you pull it higher up, feeling a nice opening across the pelvic floor, using the breath. Good, and on your next exhale, you're gonna bring that leg across the body with the right hand. Left arm extends to a T, gaze over the right hand. Sorry about the wind, but that is crazy in Cape Town today. Using your breath as you inhale, breathing into the lower back and glute. As you exhale, gently push down on that knee, deepen the twist. Focusing on the breath. Good, then come back through centre. Knees to chest, nose to knees, nice and tight. Then taking a hold of the outer edges of the feet as you come down to a happy baby. You're holding the outer edges, but your arms are on the inside of your knees. And you're pulling down on the feet, sending the thighs into the side body. If you're really tight, you can modify your happy baby and drop your feet down. But wherever you are, aiming to eventually to get to this nice 90 degree shape in the legs as you pull down on the feet, opening up the hips. You can gently rock from side to side. Good. And then bring the knees together, nose to knees. Rocking back and forth until you come all the way up to a seat and over into a tabletop. Okay, from here we're going to work into the back. So you're just going to mobilize the spine, moving it round and round in nice big circles, nice and slow. Just feeling the movement. Good, okay, change direction, going on the other way. Pushing through the palms as you lift over. Rounding through the spine and dipping the back. Then finding a nice flat back. From here, inhale, reach the right arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, thread the needle through, shoulder and cheek, come down to the mat. Extend that left arm all the way ahead of you, getting a nice shoulder stretch. Using your breath as you inhale, breathing into the tightness. Exhale, relax. Good, then slide that left hand back. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, right hand down. Left arm reaches up as you inhale. Exhale, thread the needle through, shoulder and cheek, come down to the mat. Extend that right arm all the way ahead of you, getting a nice stretch into the left shoulder. Using your breath as you inhale, breathing into the tightness. Exhale, relax into the stretch. One more breath, just like that. And slide the right hand back, inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, bring that arm down. From here, extend your arms to the top of the mat. What you're going to do is you're going to drop that chest down to the mat as far as you can. You're wanting to get a curve along the spine, so as opposed to being flat back like this, try and lift the chin, pushing the chest down to get a nice curve along the spine, getting a good stretch into the shoulders and the underarms. Holding here for one more breath. Good, and then from here, bring your hands back underneath shoulders, knees as wide as the mat, toes together, sinking back to a child's pose. Arms extended ahead of you. You can play around with your hands, maybe taking a prayer bind, putting them over the head. This is a great way to get a nice shoulder stretch, so you can just walk those elbows forward just a little bit, feeling a nice stretch in the upper arms. You can also extend the arms and maybe place one arm on top of the other with your forearms right up against the top of the head. 
and swapping arms so that your other arm is on the bottom. Feeling into the body through breath. Good, and slowly bring those hands back as you come to sit. Back in your heels in a thunderbolt. Gonna reach those arms ahead of you, take the left arm, place it over the right and wrap it around into an evil bind. This is opening up the backs of the shoulders. Take a nice deep breath in as you lift the gaze. Exhale, come down to a nice flat back. Release the bind, swap arms. Right arm over left as you wrap all the way around, bringing palms to touch your backs so the hands to meet. Using your breath as you inhale, lifting the gaze, lift the chest. Exhale, coming back down to a flat back. Good. Release the bind, reach the right arm overhead, taking a hold of the right elbow with the left hand. Using your breath to gently pull down, reaching that right hand down your middle of the back for one more breath. And swap sides, left arm reaches, high fudge. Using the breath, feeling into the stretch. Yes. Why are you all wet to be out in the rain? Feeling into the body through breath. One more. And then releasing your hands down to the sides. Gently drop the chin to the chest. And you're just going to roll your head from one side to the other. Releasing the tension on the neck. Like I said, working right down from the bottom of our legs to the top of the head. Stretching out the neck. And then come through center, place your right hand on the left side of your head as you gently pull your head down towards the right side, creating as much space as you can between the ear and left shoulder. Deep breath in, as you exhale, gently push down on the head. You don't want to push too hard, just a little bit of pressure. Then release the right hand, roll the head across the chest, taking a hold of the right side of the head with the left hand, same thing aside. Creating as much space between the right ear and right shoulder, maintaining that upright posture. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale, very gentle pressure, deepening the stretch. Good, then release the head down to the chest. And slowly going to lift up through centre. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands down to heart centre. Thank you for joining me for this post-exercise session stretch. I hope you're feeling good. And another reminder, if you haven't checked out CloudFit, it is a super affordable virtual gym platform. If you enjoy doing yoga with me here on YouTube, you will love doing live classes with me on CloudFit, I guarantee. And it's also nice because in a live video class, I can give you adjustments and come and personalize your practice for you, which I can't necessarily do on YouTube because it isn't live. So check it out just for interest. Let me know what you think, pop a comment below what you think of CloudFit, if it's something that you would be keen on joining, um, or let me know if you have joined and give us feedback on what you think of all the classes on offer. Otherwise, have a lovely day, enjoy the rest of your week ahead of you, wherever you are in the week, and I will see you when I next see you. Namaste.